Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Aziza. In today's video, I am super excited to be sharing my new travel system that I just purchased this past weekend for a baby number two. I am currently today 35 weeks pregnant, so we really have five weeks until our due date. And I just have a feeling that baby's gonna get here a little bit sooner, so I went to the store to buy my baby last weekend and purchase this travel system that I've been eyeing honestly for the longest time to make sure that we have it and get ready for the baby. So. Spoiler alert, as you can see, I did purchase the Evenflow Pivot Modular Travel System. This specific brand has two different pivot models, I believe. The first one is this standard one, which is the Pivot Modular. And then they also have a Pivot Expand and then it also goes up to like Pivot Gold, so on and so forth. Um, it comes with the stroller, it comes with the Safe Max infant car seat. I think it is such a great deal. It's such a great product, really sleek design for the price that you pay. I think that it is absolutely amazing. So I am going to show you guys kind of what the system looks like, what you can do with it, what are the different features, and hope you guys find this video helpful and informative. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Okay, so before I show you the actual stroller, I kind of want to show you or tell you why I purchased this specific travel system. So if you have not seen my other video, I actually purchased two different strollers before I bought this one. I purchased the luxury upper baby cruise stroller. I love the stroller. I just was not happy with the color that I picked and it was uh, way too heavy for me. It just felt like a really big full size stroller and I didn't want to spend $700 on something that I know is going to be kind of an annoyance for me because somewhere down the road, I do want to buy a more lightweight stroller, travel stroller if you will, and I have my eye on a specific one. So I wanted something that is going to work for the first year or so. Then after I bought the Appa Baby Cruise, I bought the Maxi Cozy Zelia Max 5-in-1 travel system. I really loved how that one looked. Unfortunately, I should have listened to my instincts and my gut. My gut said not to buy it because honestly, at that point, I was already doing my research on this one. I've tested this out and I really, really do like this one. But I am the kind of person that thinks that if something is a little bit more expensive, then maybe it's better. So I bought the Mexi Cozy one and also because I do like that leather trimming and I do like the car seat. I wasn't happy with it. I just felt like even though it looked nice, there were just different features with it that were, were just clunky and didn't make sense from a user effectiveness. So I returned it. I did make a video, an unboxing video of that. I was pretty disappointed. I'll go ahead and link it in the description box below. Recently, I just decided to go ahead and purchase this one. I absolutely love it. Number one, it was only $280 and don't let the price fool you. This stroller actually has really, really good design features and is very sturdy it pushes great and i absolutely just love it yeah this specific one also i do like because i wanted a stroller that i can change the orientation of my child's seat so i want to be able to have my child facing me and my child facing outwards and i also like the big basket I like the car seat that I'm able to put the car seat right onto the stroller without having to purchase any additional adapters. And that was one of the things I forgot to mention in the Mexicozy video is that if you are going to be using the car seat to the stroller right away, you do have to insert the car seat adapters onto the stroller frame, which this stroller does not require you to do that. You can just go ahead and transfer it, which is really nice because I can already see that I will forget putting the adapters um, or taking the adapters with me when I travel. I also love the fact that this one can be configured into a bassinet as well. So yeah, guys, I am going to stop blabbering on and show you the actual stroller. All right, so here's the car seat. Um, it is in the base right now, as you can see. I like the all black version, which is really nice. Um, so there are these like little buttons on the side here for you to move the handle up or down. It's very easy to use. 
and then the canopy slides open really nicely as well and i do like the fact that like when you have it all open it doesn't crease as much or anything like that it's just a very sleek design to remove it from the car seat base i'm going to pull the handle up there is a button here or a handle here that you pull up and it should be able to remove it from the base easily so let me try to see if this works and here you go throw it up and here is the car seat oh my gosh ziggy's toy is in the base that's what alden has been saying so it's very light it's actually not that heavy which is nice because the other one that we had was much heavier and to put it back in the car seat base all i'm doing is clicking that back in okay and this is the stroller frame um like i said my hubby already put this together for me so i am going to open it up there is a release tab over here that you push and you'll be able to unfold it right away so i'm going to do a quick zoom on that button so you know which button to push so here is the button. You can just push it. Um, I think it's that way to release it. But I'm going to go ahead and try it out, guys, because I haven't really played with it as much since when my hubby put it together. Oh, I might have it. There you go. And it should just unfold very easily. Voila! It is so nice. This is the cup holder it's pretty sturdy too it doesn't really like it doesn't knock over that easily okay so here is the stroller i love how big the basket is i have my dog's fur in here so much because we put them in there so as i mentioned i don't have to get additional adapters to put the car seat onto the stroller which is really nice so i'm going to go ahead and do that right now and here's the car seat make sure it's lined together and it clicks right in which is awesome I love it guys it looks really really cute very easy to use and then to remove it from the seat i am doing the same thing as well i'm pulling this up pulling this up and taking it out here is the child seat i already put the snack tray on here that's another thing that i do like about this one it comes with a snack tray so i'm going to try to put it parent facing first it clicks on very easily and the one thing i do love about this specific stroller is that um, as you can see here i can just pull this down to tilt it back a little bit more pull it up to get it more in an upright position and this little gray bracket but this little gray thing is what i really like about the tilting because it is so easy i don't have to fumble with the sides like the mexi cozy one i can just do this and boom it goes down do this boom it goes down which is amazing and really user friendly. I'm gonna show you what the seat looks like over here. The one thing that kind of sucks about this handle belly bar is you have to remove it completely, um, which is fine. It's not really a big point of contention with me. So it just pushes in very nicely. And I really like the canopy. So when you have it all, um, configured together. It is a very sleek, clean design. And I do like how it's just, I don't know, it just looks very smart and chic. Okay. So I am going to show you guys how to switch it from parent facing to outdoor facing. There are these buttons over here. All I have to do is just press it, pull it out and turn it around and push it back in voila it is literally so easy to do that and for me to fold this stroller all i have to do is just pull these tabs here on the side 
at the same time. And you can fold the stroller with the seat facing out as well, which is really nice. So yeah, let's try to open it with the seat in. Perfect. Let me show you what um, the bassinet position looks like. So I am going to pull out the belly bar here and then recline it all the way down. There's a clip on the bottom here that you can release and all you do is just pull this straight down and you have your bassinet or carriage mode. But when it's on in carriage mode, we put it in um, parent facing format. So I can see the baby. I would definitely recommend playing around with getting the seat into the frame first before putting the baby in there. Um, because obviously you don't want your baby to be flying around here it is in the bassinet carriage view so you can see this is what it looks like inside the baby can lay down flat which is really nice it has this mesh window in the back and the cup holder is right here the storage basket is huge and these are the brakes all right guys, so that's basically it for my review today. I am super excited and really happy with my purchase. I cannot wait for baby to get here so we can start using it. I'm gonna figure out how to install this bad boy next to my car. So I um, hope you guys found this video helpful. And as always, if you have any questions at all related to this product um, or anything of that nature, please leave it in the comments section below. And I think that's it guys. I'm going to stop this right here and hopefully I get to catch you in the next video. Bye!